well I started playing golf when I was about uh, 13, 14 and uh, I got Rookie of the Year uh, my first year as a member won several golf medals and uh, after my accident a couple of years ago when I was in Africa I dislocated my elbow so I never really thought I would get back um, to playing this uh, sport but uh, it is a hobby and uh, more importantly of course I'm learning the guitar, how to praise God and um, who knows, maybe we'll get some kind of uh, fellowship together quite soon, um, if not just a prayer group or something. But um, yeah, I always enjoyed golf and uh, uh, you know, using the driver, there is a knack to it, basically you have to balance yourself. Um, you should feel as if you're striking the ball from about your belt. If you're wearing a belt, you should you should feel as if you're striking it from about your stomach. If you, if you're hitting it properly, that's pretty much a flat swing. You should make sure that your left arm stays straight. And um, if you bend your wrists, then sometimes it's helpful to think about not turning over your wrists when you're hitting the ball, but just basically snapping it a little bit, that gives you a little bit of extra distance. You know, I've been known to um, drive greens which are around um, over 300 yards. Um, some of the local golf courses, par fours, have been able to drive, drive the greens, um, sometimes drive through the greens. You've got large bunkers right up um, to the green, so I've been able to actually land the ball on the green on occasion. Um, can certainly hit par fives and two. Sometimes it's just the direction um, that you have to basically, you know, balance yourself. And um, I would say reach for the ball, and when you're actually driving, um, not as when you're just hitting an iron shot. I believe your hands should be closer um, to your body, and it should just be just that one fluent move. Um, I believe the driver's just got a little, a little bit more snap to it a little bit more, a couple of more swing thoughts on the driver, so it's, it's just imagine, just just um, as if you're catching something, you know, that somebody's maybe dropping something so your arms are open, so you should be able to catch it, so that's how you should you should stand when you're, you're playing golf, slightly bend your knees and make sure that uh, your feet are wide enough apart to give you a stable base and uh, make sure that your feet your knees, your hips and your shoulders, um, including your club face, are actually pointing at the target, which um, is helpful to get some kind of mirror behind you. Um, I, I, I did have a mirror behind me when I was at the golf range just now, so I could adjust my um, swing slightly, it did help me. And obviously taking this video, um, you know, you can look at your golf swing Get get a friend to record it, you know, when when you're when you're uh, out there, so that you can check your swing. But uh, otherwise, yeah, um, balance is very important to be able to hit the ball straight. Timing is very important as well. Um, when my dad <coughs> first took me out to play golf, um, he, uh, he 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 was a singer, but um, he, he he remembered one thing that when he was swinging it back, he would think Tarara, and then when he was swinging it forward, he'd think Bumdie. <laughs> so Tarara Bumdie. I don't know where he got that from, maybe it was one of these old films. But um, he's just trying to get the timing of the actual shot. So, um, you know, you don't want to have too many swing thoughts when, when you're hitting the ball. But um, certainly if you're off balance, or, or if possibly you know, you, you turn your wrists over a little bit, you can end up hooking hooking the ball. Um, if if your club face is open and maybe your shoulders are open, usually that's the thing that you don't spot that your shoulders are open. It means you can you can slice the ball um, as well. So that you have to have everything in alignment to be able to hit it straight. And of course if you're just off maybe just a, a few centimetres it's still um, might put you away from the target by you know several yards so um, 
Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful for those that are starting golf, learning golf. Um, as I say, I think I think my handicap was about 10 or 11 by the age of it was about 14. Only managed to get it down to around about nine or ten. So um, um, until I actually gave up about ten years ago, um, which I was seriously um, following Christ at that time. But it is, a, it is an enjoyable sport. Um, some of these sweeps are well. <laughs> um, there's sometimes there are there's a little bit of cheating going on. Um, but me or my friends never cheated, of course. <laughs> I remember one time we played in a sweep competition and um, it was, I think it was four of us uh, and we'd, we'd to use always the best shot. So basically all of us hit a shot and we, we just used the best one. But you only had about, I think it was about five chances for a drive, five chances for you know a fairway shot and so on. So you had to basically count the amount of times that your shot was used. But um, we actually lost that by, I think it was a stroke to one of the local pubs who <laughs> took part in that and uh, strangely the um, they seemed to win it just by one stroke um, which we spotted them in the green kind of um, I think cheating but anyway that was about the last competition I played on but uh, anyway thanks for listening remember praise Jesus <laughs> okay bye Thank you.